What's up guys, it's that Pan again. I'm here again with another video and today we're gonna be just talking a bit about like the purchase rebates, the joyous discounts, and just talking a bit about it before. I don't feel like this is the first time we've had an event where they had uh, discount coupons and stuff. Uh, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we've had this in the past. Either way, basically what you do is you buy a certain amount of gems and by gems, I'm pretty sure because this is how it always is, uh, you could buy like premium packs for example. I will say the one thing uh, that you do not count on this would be like piggy bank for example piggy bank does not count nor does um i, I like pop-up packs right because those gems go into tokens and if you guys don't know gems that are turned into tokens or whatever um because because you know they're pop-up packs they're not counted exactly right like they have to directly go into your gym balance so that doesn't really count and you would have to buy for example like i said a premium pack and then those you know gems obviously are going to go towards this i think you can also buy some of the joyous discount things and those probably will also count since i do not think these are like gym tokens but basically you buy let's say a 20 dollar pack um it gives 5.8k gems. You'll have 5.8k gems added towards your uh, total gem purchase balance, and then you'll maybe progressively be able to get these, uh, these, you know, discounted kind of purchases, which I guess is nice. I personally am not going to be aiming for anything here. I don't think the values. I mean, I mean, the value is probably better than a normal pack, but I mean, for example, if you look like Papa packs, right, like Heroic Tales, you get three legendary hero fragments here uh, for $20 and like a few of these, like uh, only a few like hero stars. Isn't this kind of insane pricing? I mean, obviously, you know, with the Papa packs, you get like, uh, it's like 10 or like 20 of these normally. And I don't know, this is kind of insane. Uh, I mean, the only thing I might I might find worth it is if you're like a newer player who needs to work on your gear. Like I, I know I have a player in my alliance who is desperately trying to work on his gear. And the issue is like, I feel like carbon so so overpriced and i mean i guess we could look at premium uh packs but i mean like when you kind of yeah five dollars here for five but when you kind of consider the fact that you can get so much carbon weekly uh free you know what i mean from just doing antipede uh and and doing arena top 20 or whatever and if you're in a good region they'll just allow you to kind of bump up your rank to 20 get the carbon and then you can lower your troops whatever the case right so it's 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 pretty simple to kind of get carbon like that and uh kind of given that fact the price on this is kind of insane when you think about it um if i were to buy anything i would say it would be part booster and potentially ant arms you know what i mean because the thing is i know that a lot of whales for example will buy so many of these uh, or they'll try to buy so many honing chips to try to get lucky with their um their hones and that's why you have whales who have like six million my heroes because they have those red hones and it it's it's luck based but you also have to spend so many times right like you have to you have to get so lucky that you have to buy so many of these like honing chips to get set that lucky right because obviously if i'm just you know free to play player and like progressively getting let's say 10 or 20 or however many every single week i'm not gonna be able to just get all my all of my uh, hones up to red in no time so uh this would be maybe the best time for them to kind of work on their homes for the gear and like i said parts you know what i mean like uh the thing is parts are definitely more expensive than other things as of now you know kind of considering how cheap armaments are uh in in kind of comparison to them and now how you have cars in the workshop or whatever kind of coming into play uh it kind of makes parts feel really um overpriced and worthless unless you're like an insane whale who's willing to max out your your workshop you're willing to max out your armaments and you're willing to max out your parts which as of now is kind of overpriced when you compare it to like the stats that you might get in other things so if you were only focused on one or you were very limited on how much you would spend obviously you would spend on other things outside of parts but Obviously, maxing out your parts will also help, but, you know, like I said, considering the price, you would have to uh, be able to weigh that on, like, a value scale of, well, do I need these, or, like, is is the price worth it for me, and if, you know, obviously, you're going to be maxing everything out, you know, you might as well get those extra stats for those insane prices on parts like it really depends on your spender scale either way i hope you guys did enjoy the video you guys let me know what you guys think about this if you guys think they're just trying to rip you off your money i mean obviously the um i will say this is a little nice thing but like having to spend 300 dollars just to get a 90 100 dollar pack lower down a 50 dollar pack right here is kind of insane obviously like if you spend a hundred dollars you can get a hundred dollar pack lower to 50 dollars but then the next like kind of a purchase um you know quota is three hundred dollars so you 
Well, the thing is, like, I guess you would be buying another hundred dollar pack for fifty dollars. So technically, it's like a hundred fifty dollars to hit sixty k gym value, and that's uh, two hundred and fifty instead of three hundred. Still kind of insane. You guys, let me know what you guys think. If you guys are maybe gonna wail out on this, I don't know. I do appreciate you guys always for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy, and we'll see you guys in the next video. And that is about it. Peace out.